my crew keep it real as shit. You ain't know who you dealing with. Ask around with two legit. Ask around with two legit. Oh, hello, YouTube. How are you? Week two of Destiny, the Taken King, has come to an end. And here I am making a video. I'm just going to give you a brief overlay of how my week two went, what I got, what light level I am, and all the goodies. So, I ended up getting up to 301 light, and I ended up getting that last night. After completing the raid for the fourth time, I've completed it twice on my Hunter, twice on my Titan, which is a 298. And overall, raid has been great. I have been rewarded the Doom of Chelchus. Chelchus, I'm not sure exactly how to say that. Rolled 303 attack. Aiming this weapon increases its effective range. When stowed for a short time, this weapon is automatically reloaded from your reserves. Very good scout rifle. It also has a, an ability on it that causes more damage to Taken. This is the Taken King, so that sounds good. Overall, I got the Hawk move from Xur. I got the last word, ended up rolling a 310. Pretty fucking crazy. I got my PvP weapons rocking. My number one, pray this timepiece. Still haven't found a gun that I like better. I don't think there is one that is better. Ended up getting the Anguish of Drystan. I have a video actually reviewing this, so I'm not going to get too much into this, but pretty decent raid auto rifle. Roll the 307. It's got my auto rifle I've had before. Does not bow. Ended up getting the Black Spindle Sniper Rifle from the, one of the Heroic Dailies. Actually, it had a secret mission in it. You had to complete a wave of these guys under 10 minutes, and you got it. And what do you know here, my 310 now Black Spindle Sniper Rifle is. He's the Black Hammer button exotic. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. Rapidly landing three precision shots will refill the magazine from your reserves. The difference is, is that it actually comes from your reserves. Not bad at all. Still goat. I got my 296,000 yard stare. Rocking and rolling. I got my PvP snipes. My one and only Praetith's Revenge. I will not be switching this until I find something better for PvP. Silence of Aharn. This is the raid shotgun. Ended up rolling 303 attack. Solar. This weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Stowed for a short time. This weapon is automatically reloaded from your reserves. Pretty solid. Come down here. Just got a 297 smolder. Nothing special. To be honest. I got my sword up to 293. A couple other random just machine guns. This one's pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. 74 bullets. One chamber. Seems good. I got this bad Larry. The Kingslayer shell. This one you... Pop it out, it actually is like a taken shell. Very cool. Ever own 302 defense. Uh, reclamation. Generate additional glimmer when killing taken. Very good. Worm spore sensor. Detects and marks nearby worm spore clusters. Chance to find additional worm spore when looking Ingrams on Oryx Dreadnought. Pretty good. We come over here. I got this fat daddy. Jasper Carcanet. 310 defense. Void grenades have a chance to generate an orb when killing a minion of the darkness. I am a void class, so this makes sense. It is good. I'm getting this, I believe, from completing the Taken War Petra questline, and then completing the King's Fall raid. This is the gem I got last night, and ended up getting me up to 301. It is the Dark Hollow Mantle. As you can see, pretty cool, especially rolling a 309 light. This is the upgrade rate for scout rifles. Increases your vanguard reputation gains. These are the raid boots. Dark hollow treads. Ended up rolling 304 defense, discipline, and strength. Increases the amount of rocket launcher ammunition you can carry. Gain a boost agility per melee kill. Stack for 20 seconds. Increased agility while torn between dimensions. You're confused with between the dimensions is check out my video how to kill Oryx. I am the one who is torn between dimensions being the runner. Collecting the relic. Cool. This is the chest now. Dark Hollow Chiton. We are three defense. Intellect strength. It increases the amount of sniper rifle ammunition you can carry. Increased armor while carrying the King's Fall Relic, which I just spoke of. Increased armor when using a void base subclass. Then in here I just get some alpha loopies. 
some reason that's all I get out of the exotic chest ingrams. 294, saving that probably for my hunt, my uh, warlock. Fuse that into a chest. I have lame ass gloves. This game does not like me when it comes to gloves. I have infinite lines grip. CFP. 288 defense only. If I boost these babies up, I'm easily going to be like a 303. They just bonus your nanogen jam, melee hits, increase the reload speed of scout rifles. You know, pretty decent, but. 288 defense. Then Graviton Forfeit. Not going to get too much into because I have a video covering this item as well. It rolled into Strength, which is Grant's Shade Step, so I can use Keen Scout and Shade Step all at once, which is phenomenal. And then just down here, I do have the Sprinkler, which is the VIP Dance. I have the Raid Emblem on. VIP Shader, I'll show you. Some trash ship I used to have. And just some raven steel, I believe they gave that to us. But overall, I'm loving Destiny. I'm ready to get a takedown week three. Get everything I need to get done. Keep leveling up. Smash that raid. Get more gear. Get that fat loot. Alright, guys, let me know how your week one and week two went. What light level you are. Anything you want to tell me about it. If you got questions, ask those away. Have a good one.